So before this video gets started, if you're interested in being a Lyft driver and you want to get a sign-on bonus, go ahead and use my link in the description. Hey everyone and welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan and thanks so much for coming by. So once again, I do have my cup of coffee here. I'm just hanging out, trying to get some good vibes in the morning. This is where I hang out every single morning, just in case you guys care. About 70 degrees out, 10 a.m. Can't complain. All right, so as we approach the new year, I wanted to make this video on the top 10 ways to make more money on New Year's Eve. And this is just based on all of my experience driving and talking with a bunch of other drivers who make a ton of money on New Year's Eve. And this year in particular, there's just a bunch of more people using Lyft and Uber as passengers in general. So there's gonna be a lot more money to be made. So the first tip to make more money is use destination mode. On Lyft, you have six destination modes, and on Uber, you have two. And if you don't know what destination mode, it basically means that you can type in the address that you wanna go next, and you'll be paired up with a passenger who's heading in that direction. So this works really well if you're in a city or near a city, and if you get a ride that takes you out of the city, just go ahead and put the destination as back into the city, because that's where all the money's gonna be made. And if you don't live near the city, I would just suggest to put the destination mode straight into the city and wait to be paired up with somebody who's heading there. You know, it basically pays for your gas on the way there. And then just try to stay in the city as much as you can. And this is really gonna help with surge pricing on Uber and prime time on Lyft. All right, tip number two is keep your AC on. I can't stress this enough, especially driving at night on New Year's Eve. And this is just because when you have your air conditioning on and you're taking passengers who's, who've been drinking a little bit, and you know, they're, they're all warm because their body temperature rises when you're drinking, or at least I think it rises, or they think it rises. I don't know how it works, but just keep the AC on. And in between your rides, uh, roll the windows down. Roll your windows down in between rides. Don't do it while you're driving somebody, just because it's not very comfortable unless they want it down. But yeah, keep your AC on. And just a little bonus tip, if you have your air conditioning on and your car is cold, people are less likely to throw up, and that's just based on a study. Um, if, if you're you know, in a warm car and your passengers are drinking, they're sweating, it's getting smelly, just keep the air conditioning on and it'll, your car will smell a lot better and your passengers will be a lot more happy. So this will just allow your passengers to tip you more because they, you know, they have a better experience with you and they're more comfortable. All right, number three. This is my favorite one, and you know me because I love music is have a few playlists. When you're driving on New Year's Eve, people are gonna be going out to party, and basically everywhere they go to party, there's gonna be music. And so you can actually turn your car into a sort of a party, or like a pre-party for your passengers. So have a couple of playlists, have like a dance playlist, a, a party playlist, an EDM playlist, which is electronic dance music, if you don't know what EDM is, and um, or just type in New Year's Eve. If, if you don't have songs on your phone, just download Spotify, um, get Spotify premium so there's no ads. And the reason I suggest Spotify is because they already have preset playlists. So you can just type in like party or New Year's Eve and something will come up. Okay, so number four is don't go through the drive-thru. Okay, going through the drive-thru is just gonna slow down your, your night completely. And I know what you're thinking, when you're driving people home from parties, all they want to do is go through the drive-thru and say, hey, can you take us to McDonald's or In-N-Out? And you, you know, you kind of feel bad and you want to say yes, but on New Year's Eve, say no. Literally be selfish on that. Be like, hey, sorry, I have a ton of more people that I need to drive um, and I don't have time to go through the drive-thru. And when you do go through the drive-thru, what happens is when you're waiting uh, for so long to get the person's food, it's actually stopping you from getting new rides. And so what Lyft and Uber does is that they add people onto your queue, they call it. And when you're in a drive-thru, you know, you can't accept the queue. Or even if you do, Lyft is just gonna take the ride and give it to somebody else who, um, you know, is actually moving. The only time I recommend going through the drive-thru is if somebody literally hands you like, $10 or $20 and there's no one in line. If there's even a couple cars in line, don't wait, it's not worth it. You can make a bunch more money uh, driving somebody else and getting a tip uh, from somebody else. Okay, tip number five, and this is super important on New Year's Eve especially. When people are drinking and they're going out, they need to stay hydrated. So usually I don't really recommend um, having like waters or candy in your car um, or having them out, but on New Year's Eve especially, have some waters in your car. Maybe you don't need to have a bunch out in the back seat, 
but keep some up front. And if your passengers are like, you can tell they're a little bit intoxicated or whatever, you can just offer them, hey, do you want a, do you want a bottle of water? And that is actually better than just having it out because people take the waters and usually they won't really tip you. But if you, you know, if you actually offer, say, hey, I have some water bottles, do you want one? Um, that's more of a personal way and it's more of a transaction. So they think, oh, if he's offering me, I should tip him rather than just taking it and when they think it's free um, and included in their ride, which is not, you know, Uber and Lyft are not paying for your waters. It's on you. And another bonus tip for this one is have some gummy bears or something sweet in your car and people will literally freak out. They're like, oh my gosh, you have gummy bears? Or like, well, you have Sour Patch Kids? Um, yeah, so have some treats in your car, but like I said, don't keep them out, just offer them. You know, just say, hey, do you guys want some candy? Um, and you know, some people might get super excited and they're gonna tip you a lot more. Um, so just keep it like in your center console or something. All right, time for a coffee break. Mm, I love coffee. Do you guys drink your coffee black? I don't know, I do. Do you guys like coffee or do you guys drink tea? Or are you one of those people who only drinks water? I never understand you guys. Okay, tip number six, and this one is super important, guys. Listen up. Um, you know, let's get serious for a second. On New Year's Eve, unfortunately, there are gonna be some people who are drinking and driving, and that's just the fact. People, um, you know, they get DUIs, and New Year's Eve is one of the biggest nights for people to get um, an accident. And, um, so on New Year's Eve, just drive slowly. Don't rush, don't chase the surge. You know, don't rush to get your passengers home faster. Take them home slowly, safely, and let's make sure that none of us get in any accidents this year. And then another word about yellow lights, don't try to beat the yellow light. If you see a yellow light, slow down, and um, yeah, you know, it's not the end of the world if you miss a yellow light or if you miss the green light. Um, you know, you'll, you might get to your destination a minute later, but that is definitely worth, um, you know, getting a ticket or getting into an accident, you know, and there are a lot of police officers out on New Year's Eve, especially just because, you know, just to keep this whole city safe. This also means just being slow to stop and, uh, slow to accelerate. And if you're at a red light, if you're the first person at a red light, um, look both ways before going out when it turns green. And that's just because somebody from the side could be racing to beat the yellow light and it could turn red and then, you know, it could intersect into the time where, you know, you should start driving, if that makes sense. But yeah, just stay safe out there. Okay, tip number seven, drink coffee or drink a Red Bull or a Monster or what are those ones? Herbalite, Yerbalite, Yer Yerba Mate, <laughs> Yerba Mate, or have some sort of stimulant. Maybe that's gummy bears or I don't know, whatever. You're gonna be driving late at night and you want something that's gonna be able to keep you up. For me, it's coffee. I love coffee. Um, or sometimes I switch it up and go for Red Bull. Those are really the two only things I do. Very occasionally I will have a vitamin water, um, but I don't know, I don't really trust vitamin water for some reason. It's just, I don't know, I think it's the sugar, which there's a ton of Red Bull too, so I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, just if you're driving at night, have something to stimulate you and keep you more alert. And this really actually does help with tips. I found that when I drink a Red Bull or a coffee, like I'm just more alert, more awake, I'm in a much better mood, and my tips are like way better. You know, I'm not tired and I'm like actively listening to the other person and asking them questions and um, yeah. Okay, tip number eight is drive at night. And I know what you're thinking, you know, you don't wanna drive late at night, you wanna go home uh, before the New Year's, but most of the money is available after midnight. And this is just because there's gonna be a ton of demand of people right after midnight going home. So think about it. People are going out all night, you know, they start at five, six, seven p.m. up until midnight to get there to the destination. Then when midnight hits and the ball drops, everyone has to go home. So there's gonna be like, three, four, five times as many people because all those people who came out now need to go home. So the surge pricing and prime time is gonna be super high starting at like 12, 12.30, up until like three, four a.m. So if you can hit those hours, you're gonna make a lot of money. All right, tip number nine, smile, be happy, uh, be talkative. This really helps with tips and I, 
definitely recommend. This is, this is, guys, this is the biggest thing that helps me get tips. I get tips on pretty much every single ride that I give, and that's just because I smile and I'm really talkative. Um, you know, I, if somebody doesn't want to talk, obviously I won't talk to them, but, uh, and it's, it's not just being talkative, because anyone can talk, you know, anyone can tell a story. But the key thing is, is to focus the conversation on the other person, on your passenger. They really don't care about what you were doing last summer in Guadalajara, in wherever. They really don't care. They care about themselves. And just as people, you know, we care about talking about ourselves. So if you, you know, ask your passengers, hey, where are you headed tonight? Um, what are your plans for the night? Um, you know, or what are your goals? Oh, this is a great one. Ask them, what are your goals for 2019? They will literally love talking about their goals and talking about themselves. And then after that conversation, they're gonna think, wow, I actually feel empowered to do something with my life this year. And I'm gonna tip my driver. So just keep the conversation focused on the other person. All right, the last way to get more money and increase your tips on New Year's Eve is have a clean car. Um, check your car after every single ride, or if you can't do it after every single ride, every two to three rides. Just do a quick check in the back seat, um, in the passenger seat, and make sure that there's no trash left behind and no one has left anything behind. If some, and this is super important, if somebody left their phone in your car, turn the phone off immediately. And this is because, you know, I have an iPhone, and if anyone has an iPhone, you can track uh, your location. Um, you know, you, they, there's an app called Find My iPhone where literally I can track and see exactly where my phone is. So actually every time I lose my phone, I don't call my phone. I go on somebody else's phone, open up, find my iPhone, and then it'll play an alarm from where my phone is. And I actually keep my phone on silent so I wouldn't hear the call anyway. But yeah, and then you don't want to be doing any returns that night. So you want to do all your returns the next day if somebody leaves something in your car. And it's probably bound to happen because people are drinking they forget everything <laughs> um, and so yeah just do all your returns the next day you don't and you'll get a $15 return fee but that's not worth it when you're making 30 40 dollars an hour at least on New Year's Eve all right guys that was it that was a little uh, I think that was a little bit of a shorter video than usual but thank you guys so much for watching again if you're interested in signing up to be a Lyft driver and you want to get a sign-on bonus go ahead and use my link in the description now if you're a passenger and watching this you can also get a free ride um, by using there's a link in the description for that as well. All right guys stay safe out there. Happy New Year Have a great 2019. I'll check back in with you all soon Make sure to click subscribe for more videos like this one hit the thumbs up button if you liked it Follow me on social media. Uh, wow. That was a lot of plugging. All right guys It has been another episode of the rideshare hub. I'll see you guys next time. Bye